Hey, Annie and Boju. This is Vince Fontaine from Eagle and Hawk and Indian City Band. Thank you for joining us as we take a trip down memory lane with the Indigenous Music Awards Red Road Series. In 2006, the first ever Aboriginal People's Choice Music Awards premiered at the MTS Center here in Winnipeg. It was a show of music, artist, community and spirit. It was a wonderful, wonderful evening. We'd like to invite you to join us over the next 14 days as we share some of these wonderful highlights. Please join us. Jimmy Gwich, thank you.
in my truck like they hit the streets See just how many pretty girls we can meet after 2 a.m. On the weekend There was a 9 out of 10 standing outside the bar My name is Shane, how you like me so far? Was my pickup line It's been working since 99 and years built from the ground up Intangible, had to fight for this Never gave up when the going got tough Almost gave up, it just got too rough But it's amazing how survival manifests with crazy Complicated little tests Raising the bar for the kids who got next Shaky, shaky ground, be careful with those steps Keep it tied down
When we are together and when we are united, we are a very powerful people. And I feel the spirit here today. Festival for All Nations. Named for a place here in Manitoba, sacred to Aboriginal peoples. Since long before we knew words such as Europe, America, and even Canada. It's a place whose spirit we honor tonight, as well as its teachings. Located in the heart of the continent, Manitoba is the site of many petroforms, rock formations of animals and other objects of importance that are spiritually significant and represent important ancestral teachings. Here, basically, in, in, in the White Shell, 98% of petroforms in Manitoba are in the White Shell Provincial Park. To the north of us, we have rock paintings. To the east of us, we have petroglyphs, which are actual carvings in the rock. Here, because it is a center, this is believed where the original man was lowered. And, and uh, so that is why um, petroforms are all in the White Shell Provincial Park, because this was the beginning of, of creation where he was lowered from the sky into this place. This petroform that we're coming up to right here now, I'd like to explain a little bit about this to you. This, this used to be a, a stone chair and it played a very, very important role in this place. When the original man was lowered into this place and creator is believed creator sat here and uh, in 1976 this chair was destroyed. It has now been pushed it over and made into something else but th there is uh, always a reason for these things to happen. It, it, we know that it was destroyed through vandalism but how it was destroyed doesn't matter, but why it was destroyed does, because the people that would be eligible to sit in this chair, there's very few of those people left today. Maybe someday it will become a chair again. This chair links up to four other sites that I know of. I spend all of my summer walking around looking all of the time for new sites and different places. Now with the use of a GPS, down here in the bush, there is a turtle, and the head of that turtle, if you GPS it, lines up with the seat of this throne, which lines up with the head of a turtle, which is two miles from here, which lines up with the main stone in, the, in a petroform that is three and a half miles away from here, and then it lines up again with a thunderbird nest, which is six miles away. So it not only plays a, an important role just in this petroform site itself, it's tied into many, many different petroforms. Well, this was the first Aboriginal People's Choice Music Awards. But it's definitely not the last. Hey, do we have time for just one more number? I think so. All right. Back to give us more with his award in hand, Mr. Keith Sakola, along with Eagle and Hawk.
Thank you very much. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Thank you very much for the Folk Music Award. Miss Fontaine, forgot to pick it up for me. I'm a bumper and holds my car to